let's do a worked example. For the circuit shown, work out where the current transformers need to be to provide different protection zones to cover all of the bus bars and equipment. Let's start with the bus bars. We need a protection zone for bus bar number one, so let's pull a current transformer for that zone in this location. We need a protection zone for bus bar number two, so let's pull a current transformer for that zone in this location. What about the protection zone for feeder one? Well, we know we need to overlap with the bus bar number one protection zone, so let's pull a current transformer here. There are two possible paths for the current to flow into the feeder. Therefore, we need a second current transformer to complete the protection zone. So let's pull a current transformer here. What about the zone for feeder 2? Well, this follows the same principles as feeder 1. We need to overlap this protection zone with the others. So let's put the top current transformer in this position and the bottom current transformer here. Every piece of bus bar and equipment on the circuit is now covered by one of the protection zones. Let's now see how we apply these zones to a full substation. Here we have a diameter substation with four diameter bays and two bus sections. Let's firstly show all of the feeder protection zones. Then the protection zone for bus 1, bus 2, bus 3 and bus 4. All of the protection zones have now been provided and as we can see the zones cover every single piece of bus bar, cable and equipment inside the substation.